So here's my tarp shelter here. It's what I usually use when I'm out in the field. Just want to cover some of the components. I got a Basha shelter that's six feet by eight feet roughly. I used to be able to get these from Brigade Quartermasters. They have the really nice heavy duty attachments there and even one in the center here. It's about six feet by eight feet. And <clears throat> I've got this set up kind of low here between a couple of juniper trees because of the rain that's uh, that's we've been having here. It's flash flood season and you can see it's starting to really thicken up here. We're going to be dumped on shortly. So I've got this strung up in a way that I can drop one side of it here if necessary. I like this kind of open shelter here. It allows me to look out, get some air. I'm not, not kind of stuck in there, claustrophobic. <clears throat> and then if I need to, I've got an old uh, <laughs> fish spear here from another class. And I can just drop this down, secure this, and uh, drop it down considerably if necessary to keep the rain out. <clears throat> but these tarps cost about... Uh, about 40 bucks. I know Campmore, Campmore.com, you can get a 10 by 10 shelter like this that has all the attachment points as well. And I like that one a little better because you can, those, those um, nice uh, equal designs, 10 by 10 as opposed to 6 by 8, you can create a nice diamond uh, shelter with that. So I've got my poncho on the ground. I've got your standard Ensolite bedroll here again we're in a base camp setting so not far from the vehicle this is a skills course it's not a living off the land course we're not building shelters so i brought along my gear i've got a snug pack sleeping bag here this is rated to about 30 degrees they say i'm a little skeptical i haven't slept in it that cold but um i like those types of sleeping bags because they can scrunch down to the size of a loaf of bread so real small i've got a gi style bivy bag here gore-tex you can get those for 80 or 90 dollars and then i've got my poncho liner so when it's really hot like it was last night it was in the, the 50s i was just sleeping on top of my gear had my poncho liner for when it got cold and this is kind of my base setup here i like sleeping out in the open with the tarp and uh you know if you're gonna get a tarp get a good quality one they make the sill tarps as well those are pretty pretty pricey but they're lightweight and uh, go light is one of the companies that makes those they're not going to blend in like this so um, you're going to be getting a yellow or a red type tarp i would avoid the home depot tarps they've gotten pretty cheap over the years the grommets bust out in high winds and kind of get what you pay for so get a good quality tarp that have these good attachment points for the back side here for anchoring it i use some dead man anchors I already pulled this one up just to show you but it's tied off buried a foot in the ground <clears throat> and I've done the same over here. We, that's what we have to do out in the desert here because it's like beach sand. You're not going to be able to sink in stakes. I'll show you one stake here. This is what we use when we have our teepee set up out here. 36 inch rebar. So you're not going to be able to get away with standard tent stakes here. You're going to have to use dead man anchors and those dead man anchors are what you'd use if you're on the beach, if you're in the snow in the winter time. Got some thunder here. Storms are coming. <clears throat> but these dead man anchors, um, good way to go in a desert environment. You just want to bury them about a foot down in the sand. And then stepping back here, if you look at the area, I've got a, <clears throat> I've got a nice level area here. I'm not going to have to worry about a, 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 a flash flood or drainage or water sw sweeping through here. And I cleared the area making sure that there were no um, critters in the area. About 100 yards from here, there are several... Uh, trapdoor spider holes, so got away from those, cleared away any rocks or debris where there could be scorpions or snakes, and I kind of scouted out my area when I was uh, putting this all together. Just over here, we've got a little drainage, so uh, you know, you want to steer away from stuff like this. I know it sounds like common sense, but I'm amazed at the people who are new to the desert who go camping and they put their tent right in a wash or right in the bottom of a canyon during flash flood season, weather like this. Here it comes. We're going to get it pretty hard here in a minute. For more information on our survival courses in Arizona, our upcoming Desert Survival DVD, or any of our survival books, 
You can visit our website at apathways.com. Thanks for watching.